same you're going the same speed too. It's not like you wanted to pass the dude. Oh. Alright. Watch it. Yeah, you tell him, Jack. I don't know what these guys think they're doing. They see you and they want to get in the way. Driving. Like what? What kind of craziness are these people? Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. What a dirty cop. Huh? Even though it's because of the great good, it's still dirty. Yep, I hop that boy. I hop it like ain't none. Wait. I feel like I'm missing something here. Newspaper. That newspaper is not worthy. Oh my god, it's people texting me. Please. Right am I around in my automobile? I can come this way too. What we got here? So this is where their lumber comes from? Oh my god, these people. That's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. You know, all that water. You can already think about it now. You can already... Be something else around here. What's left in the building? Now oh, this dude's super fast when he climbs this fence. So yeah, I mean, all you gotta do is do a little run and then put one leg on top and jump it. I mean, that's like a that's like a little run thing. That's like a little run thing. We got here, huh? We got a screening room over here. Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. Is anyone in here? Of course not. The real should be nearby. Why? Why would it be nearby? Receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public. God damn it, Ray. 
Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought. There you go. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GIs. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So. How is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Poor Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need damn. to find a game well or a telephone. Three billion dollars? In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces. Why three million dollars? God damn, that's a lot. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. <laughs> fund that was three million dollars back then to make a uh, what is it? A freeway. How much is it now? It's like uh, I don't know how much inflation is, but I'm sure it'd be more than three billion. I mean, three million, I think. I already forgot what he said, but I'm sure it'd be more. I'm gonna say I'm just gonna add three more million. I'm gonna say six million. Yeah, what's up, guys? Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. I'm not a police officer, am I? This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis My Benson, bad. please? Uh. Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Let's not do it. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. What was the whole point of getting her number? Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around 9. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Of here to say, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, ma'am. Wow, this is a lot of a lot of nothing really. It's just more cutscenes, cutscene, cutscene. Yeah, I'm Jack. Oh no, that's Cole. Hey, Cole, what up? 
you must be a regular here. Oh, that sounds nothing like her regular voice. Nope, that sounds nothing like her regular voice. That sounds like some ugly... She has that ugly voice and then when she sings... I seen this! What was it? It was that uh, NWA chick that was next to her. She had that little... Like that little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse kind of shit. And then she was like... Man, she had a cool ass voice. I'm like, how does that even work though? Cole scared. Man up, Cole. Jack wants to touch her. Cole can't touch her. All these little surprises we have here. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Damn. Cole, how are you going to do this when you have kids, huh? You have a daughter and a son, and you're over here making out with some German chick. We're united in the war. Alright, cool. Let's go. Go to Elson Field Site 2. Why are we even going here, huh? You wanted me to accept my money, and then you should have accepted it, and then I should have went home and slept and be like, eh, she didn't take it, but that's not my problem, and then go back home. So what are we going to do now? I think this thing is almost done. This one is the most boring out of everyone. All of them, even the beginnings. Because there is no little mission. There's like barely any. There's like three. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because, you want to know why? It is because the story. If it involves a story, I mean, we can go here. It's a hidden vehicle. Oh, uh, just keep on going there straight and then take that right or left. I think it's a left in my perspective. In that perspective, it was a right. It's so weird. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What are we going to do? We are going to Elsa Field. Let me just be quiet. I mean, there's really nothing to talk about. You know what I'm going to say here? Uh, look at this. Oh, oh look at this. Cars, please. I am a California and law detective or something. I get the right away. Oh my god, this car. Why? I know you gave me your signal, but like, why would you go straight and then be like, oh, you know, oh. doesn't make sense. Oh, if we actually turn here, we're not even that far. Look at these cars. I mean, look at all these houses. They look all bland. They kind of all look the same. Just hit it with your car. Take like two seconds. Oh, there's no cars in it. Look at it. It looks all dark. Oh, I mean, not over there. But over there, look at that. It's like, that's the ghetto street. Anybody want to be there? All right, let's go through. Yeah. Detective here. It's a California law and police. California fire and water police officer here. We're here to investigate the traumatic event that happened on the other side of the street. Just wanted to know if all you guys were fine. Yeah. 
You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Ooh, look at me. Put a few dots in that Damn, oh, they knocked me out. That one punch. Come on. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and under the trunk. That one punch knocked me out real bad. Come on, Jack. One punch quitter. He couldn't even knock out one dude. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> it was like he took longer to do that shot. Hey, hey, get off the car. This is a California and law detective. What the hell? Sorry, pal. Desperate times. I didn't say what the hell, but he's the one that stopped for me. This seemed more cooler when I did it in my head. Monroe owns the city, owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Now, let me jump. Let me jump. Oh my god, if I jump it, I can escape. No, that's not a jump. What's your problem? That was not a jump. Oh my god, there's three cars. Oh, whoa, that's not me. It's a different dude. Come on, you can't automatically know it's me. You guys will have like these walkie-talkies you talk to each other. Yeah, he's in this red car. No, we don't have cars. We don't even have a... No, I can't turn here. I can take these side straights, go. Oops. He's right behind me. He's on my tail. Huh? I'm gonna take that right. I'm gonna take that left. Oh! he got tricked. Control though. your car. Please, damn it! Oh! Look at these, look at these dumbass mobsters! You can't catch me! I'm too quick for ya! Hold on, I got away. Cole, say it! I mean, not Cole. Jack, ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm turning! Got a job to do. Yeah. See you later. See you later, pal. Oh god no. Can you just not wait? I mean, just take the loss, boy. You don't gotta go shooting people. No. You look like a rich man, but where are they? 
that the last of them? Yeah, you go, I lost them. Jack Kessel does it. Jack Kessel. Jack Kessel does it again. Losing every mobster he can. I don't even know how he opened that truck. I'm sure it showed me something in that cutscene. But I did not notice. He's not paying attention to the cutscene. And we are almost here. Uh, why am I driving super slow? Okay, in the cutscene, that's why. Just making love. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? <laughs> For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Why? What are you doing that I that I Cole has to do it? I should get five. I didn't do that much damage. Oh, that's five. Swish! All right, cool. Valorious. Valorious, guys. Valorious. Just gonna do a little army cutscene here. Yes, we are. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons compass. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Oh, why am I last? Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Wow, amazing. Wonder what's in those caves, huh? I wonder what's in those caves. A polite invitation, but that is all for today. It was only like, what? Well, it was basically 49 minutes. That is all for today, though, guys. We had a fun time talking to Kelso and all these amazing people, the German whore and this person and that person and everybody. We had fun talking to everybody. But now it is time to say goodbye. Just like Mr. Rogers. Bye, neighborhood. Bye, bye, bye. But no, really. It is time to say uh, see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on YouTube. I mean, oh my God, why do I always do that? Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Do all that shit that is necessary to do. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.